Well, hello there in YouTube land and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about our forever newbie ride to Grangerland, which I believe happened a couple of weeks ago. So, um, we went to Grangerland, Texas, and we started at Spring, and then we went all the way to Montgomery, and then uh, this is where we took 149 up north to Drifters, which is one of our favorite roads. We love it. And I was hoping to get um, some good footage, so that's why I mounted my camera on the back. And uh, you guys let me know if it worked. So this is us at Drifters. As you can see, we had some beautiful bikes that day. It was a cruiser, easy paced ride. And we did have some Harleys and some cruisers. And uh, we also found some great uh, bikes there at Drifters when we got there. So I was uh, excited about hitting 149, I forgot I was taking some footage of my forever newbies and I just left them in the wind. I wasn't going that fast, but <laughs> as I advertised, it was a cruiserly easy pace. I think they took it to heart and they were riding slow. So here's some more footage of us at Drifters. You saw the first bike was my bike, that's the, then, then the Vaquero, then the Ultra, then a Streetlight Special. And then this beautiful Victory, which we're going to talk a little bit more about Victory motorcycles in this uh, video, if we have a chance. So, as you can see, I left them in the wind, so I had to stop. After I check out my mirror, see that nobody was following me, I had to stop. Three days later. All right, so let's talk about uh, the bikes. Uh, let's start, well, in order of how we're riding. So I was leading on my 2021 Harley Davidson Street Glide. It has the 107 engine, the Milwaukee 8, and that one produces 92 horsepower and 110 pound feet of torque. Doesn't sound like a lot of horsepower, but it is uh, plenty, especially with that torque. Now, right now, I am riding it without the tour pack, without the lower fairings, so it's in regular standard mode and it feels a lot nimbler. John was riding his Ultra Limited, which I believe is the 2023 model with the chrome spec, and that one has a 114 engine, and that one produces uh 94 horsepower so just a couple of more horsepower than mine and also produces a little bit more uh torque it has 119 pound feet of torque on that ultra now what are the differences between the street glide and the ultra uh because a lot of people would would think when i put on the tour pack and the, and the bigger windscreen the lowers is the same thing but it's not the street glide has a bigger wheel in the front not only different wheels but the different wheel size and and then it also has different suspension different brake angle so it's a little bit more of a custom look and so that uh, takes away a little bit of the riding it has different suspension in the back and so the ultra is a lot better another thing that it does have the Ultra has uh, cooling elements in the lower fairings. It has some oil that uh, cools down 
the um, the cylinder heads or something uh, you know I don't know anything about it but it does have some cooling elements that help during the summer so that's why I have to remove the lower fairings on mine during summertime because otherwise my gets too hot all right what else uh, who else was there so uh, after uh, John we saw Daryl on his Kawasaki Vulcan Vaquero and the Kawasaki Vulcan Vaquero is a 1700 cc engine which produces 83 horsepower but you have to rev it a little bit more it's 5000 rpm it does also produce 108 pound-feet of torque now this bike doesn't sound like it's a, the fastest bike in the world but believe me it's a lot faster than the uh, smaller uh, capacity cruisers so this is one of the best Japanese cruiser touring type bike that you can buy not only does it is it beautiful it's also a great bike uh, who else so that's John on the ultra letting him go by so we can get some footage so this is the beautiful Vaqueros I was talking about and then uh, was so that was Daryl and then that's Larry with the victory and that's Jerry with the uh, street light special so let's talk a little bit about the street light special before we jump into the victory motorcycles what are they what happened to them why don't we see them anymore so Jerry uh, is on the 114 so it's the street light but the street light special now what's different between my street light standard and Jerry's street light special well the engine it does have the same engine and it's uh, tuned uh, basically the same as on John's Ultra so it has as we discussed uh, two more horsepower so that's uh, 94 horsepower and a little bit more uh, uh, pound feet 119 pound feet of torque but it also has uh, the, the side cases the, 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 the saddlebacks they're the longer version now some people especially when they came out at first loved the the stretched bags and that was a thing for for a while but now Harley's going back into the more performance oriented give me a little bit more ground clearance so they're going back to the to the smaller bags you can see that on the ST models you can see that on the newer uh, design street lights and road lights and I personally I like it better and uh, but the street light uh, special does have a little bit more it also has a different uh, infotainment uh, and it has different uh, dash elements and it just looks a little bit more premium all right so now let's move on to the victory so I believe that what Larry has is a victory hammer but don't quote me on that because I could be mistaken but it is one of those uh, muscle bikes that victory used to do now what is victory victory motorcycles uh, was owned by Polaris and they were like the second the, the uh, second uh, American cruiser uh, manufacturer they were very premium and they were competing with Harley but it, there was something I, mean, I, I don't know what happened the design of the bikes not everybody loved them because they were a little bit over the top especially on some of the touring bikes they just wanted them uh, to be different and they were selling but basically not a lot I guess and the inside information that I got when I was selling because uh, I used to sell victory motorcycles back in uh, Santa Teresa New Mexico and what they told us uh, when at least the owners of that shop or that uh, dealer when victory uh, decided to or Polaris decided to stop selling the uh, the victory brand is that they wanted to have all of the uh, not only all the resources because uh, all the factories and, and the money allocated for, for victory they put it on the slingshot so yeah these beautiful bikes were gone the way of the dodo to give way to this ugly thing the slingshot so that was uh, what Polaris did and a lot of people say it was because of Indian but no Indian and victory were being 
manufactured and sold at the same time and they were being manufactured in different factories they were not so a lot of people think whoa victory uh gave way so that polaris can build indian no they started even before victory was uh decided to so they were they were supposed to continue building both but ceos and owners of polaris decided no the slingshot is what we're going to do we're going to keep indian and we're going to get rid of uh, victory and that's a shame so uh my friend larry's victory if it's the hammer s uh produces 96 horsepower and what is it 153 newton meters let's see how that translates to uh pound feet uh, 153 newton meters to pound feet let's ask our friend google and see if we can get to the bottom of that 153 that means 112 pound feet of torque now it doesn't sound like a lot but we were roll raising not raising we were roll uh, we were riding uh, on the way back now unfortunately we didn't have enough uh, camera uh, battery to record this but I was pushing it a little bit on the on the freeway on the street glide I was topping it out and uh, Larry saw what I was doing and he well opened the throttle and he caught up to me and when I hit my rev limiter in sixth I was going around 120 according to the uh, speedometer of the Harley which should be 110 120 I mean 115 at uh, the most and <laughs> that victory just kept going so yeah victory motorcycles were a good a good brand and it is unfortunate that uh, well we had to see him go well guys uh, that is it for today's video remember if you liked the video to uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell button and share it with all your friends and if you don't like the videos well share it with all your enemies and I'll see you guys on the next one oh and one more thing if you uh, enjoy the content be sure to help us out not only by subscribing and sharing it and all of that stuff make sure you check out our merch and uh, leave us a comment on what type of merch would you be interested in buying to support our, our, our efforts here because you know we do it uh, right now uh, it's more of a hobby but we would love to do this uh, for real so if there's something there that you would like to see just put it in the comments below and uh, we'll, we'll make sure to put it there so you can buy it and help us out and uh, well, that's it, guys. Uh, enjoy some bonus footage.